I told you. It's not gonna work. We need to get a shovel. We don't have a shovel. We gotta keep. We gotta use our hands, bro. I'll, I'll help you out. Well, it looks like you're helping me out. Someone's, someone's gotta hold the hand the camera. Dude, we're in so much crap right now. We're in so much crap. All I know is that. They're gonna eat. I don't even know who that guy was. I'm assuming it's his brother, Cletus. Dude, what was? It? Yeah, what is it? You think it's Cletus, bro? That's what I'm saying. I, I can only assume because last time we came in contact with Calvin, he was saying Cletus, Cletus. So I'm assuming that's who it was. But those inbred guys completely ate their own kind last time. They ate Calvin. So I'm assuming they're going to be eating Cletus as well. So that's that's really good news actually, because now there's not gonna be a body there. There's not gonna be a body because those weirdos are gonna eat him. No evidence at all. We're good. The only thing is I I'm posting it all on YouTube. Everything. But I think we're good on that because cops are just gonna assume that it's for YouTube entertainment. Yeah, that's what you think. No, they are. I know they are. I don't believe. There's you. no evidence. There's no body there. There's, there's literally nothing there. The only thing that's there is our YouTube videos. So how could they have no hard evidence? But I thought the cops were in this. Dude, those are not cops chasing us. They're saying they're cops. There's no way a cop is actually doing all that shit. There's no cop just breaks into your house like that. Yeah. They're elites, bro. They're just the higher ups. They're trying to cover up. They know that we know too much. We have a bottle of baby blood. And the vial. And it's going to expose them. And they're scared. And that's our goal. We're exposing all of these pedophile human trafficking demons dude they're literally just the devil's work and they're afraid they're going to get exposed so they're trying to find us and take us out because they don't want to get exposed and we're sitting there and we're exposing all of them i don't care what it takes but i am the elites they they traffic children they took your freaking sister and they were going to torment her and take her blood before she dies so they can get the adrenochrome in it. And then y'all found me. That's what they're doing, bro. And they do not want to be caught. The fact that we have the evidence, the bottle of baby blood, is why they're after us. No other reason. I doubt the cops even have anything to do with this. I highly doubt it. Right, we gotta hurry this up, bro. My, Those sick my feet are killing me, bro. They're killing me. Those sickos are gonna eat their own their own brother. Like they already did. Dude, this is gonna take forever without it. Dude, the only thing I know, we're burying these guns or this gun just in case. I doubt cops will ever find out anything about this, but just in case they do. The only thing is, we have a bounty on our head now. Oh, oh. we have a bounty on our head. We're gonna keep coming after us. We need to get, burn our phones. We need to fall off the face of the earth. Dude, listen, my uncle's got everything. I'm gonna Your make uncle? a phone call. Your Anthony. uncle has everything? Yeah, Anthony's got everything. What does that even mean? He's got everything we need. I'm gonna call him up. He's got burner phones and everything. He might be able to hook us up with some stuff to keep us out of harm's way for a little while. Dude, your uncle doesn't want anything to do with us anymore. Bro, he's just, we just in, got his niece. We he's, got his niece he's in this. He's one of the biggest pedophile He's in, the world. in this just as much as we are. I don't know. You can try, but I doubt it. We just gotta show up to my house because I don't know where my phone is. We just gotta come back further. Oh my god, dude. That might be good enough, bro. It's not. I'm burying this crap, bro. 
Are you burying it to get rid of it, or are we burying it if we gotta come back to it? We're never coming back to this. We have to relocate and go somewhere completely new. That's what I'm saying. We have to get burner phones. We have to fall off the face of the earth. And stay on the run forever. Dude, that family of the, I guess the McGinleys, the guy said, the first guy said his name was Calvin McGinley. Calvin. He got eaten by his own goddamn family. He got eaten by his own family. They're weird Satanists, bro. This shit's legit. Like, bro, I know. They were feeding me that, mo that guy. This shit is legit. People think that this Satanist worshipping stuff is all a joke. No. It ain't no joke. I'm exposing all of them. Will Smith. Ellen DeGeneres. All these guys. I don't care. I'm throwing names out there. I already got a bounty on my head. I'm saying it all. We just need bigger names to start coming out with it. Justin Bieber needs to expose them. He knows it all. He's already starting to. It's all going to come down to it, bro. It's going to be a war. Between heaven and hell. It's going to be a war. It's hell on earth right now. The devil is here. There's human trafficking. 800,000 underage children are being trafficked on a yearly basis. And that's just in America. Disneyland. All those huge corporations. Disneyland is like the number one a uh, place where children go missing. They steal their kids. They sell them for tens of thousands of dollars to all these elites, all these celebrities that can afford it. And they're draining the children's blood and bathing in it and ingesting it for, for the works of the devil, for fame and fortune and for, for youth. And nobody believes it because it's so far-fetched, right? Nobody believes it because it's so far-fetched, but go back to what I was saying before. All these huge corporations, Hollywood, all these movies and all these shows that you're feeding yourselves on a daily basis, the kids growing up, it's all just subliminally put into their heads as they're getting older and older. And it makes the truth seem so far-fetched because they're not used to hearing the truth. They're used to living a lie. The devil's here. I'm exposing it all. And that's why people are trying to kill me because I'm exposing it. I have a platform of over 500,000 fans across the world that I love so much as a family. And I swear to God, I'm going to die. I'm going to die for the sake of exposing all this for him, for them. I'm dying for, for the all. chemist, for everyone. I've had enough. I refuse to live this life as a lie. You guys are going to call me crazy right now. I don't care. Call me crazy all you want. When this war starts and when it gets exposed, because it's already in the works, these huge celebrities are being investigated right now as we speak. That's why COVID shut down this entire country. They're setting decoys to shut down the country because these huge elites, huge names like Ellen DeGeneres, all of them are, are being investigated right now. So they had to shut down the entire country for it. So it seemed normal that they are on house arrest. Bro, being investigated. bro, we gotta be good, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm still. I got blood all over me. I'm still on my this, my bare bro? feet. Yeah, bro. I mean, we've been here for ten Where's minutes. Yeah, I know. I got it. It all fit. It should be good. It's going in. The chemist. What was his name? Anthony. Anthony, the chemist. This was his weapon. So. Rest in peace. I know we can't bury your body, but... Because we're fighting for him and we're fighting for everyone else. Yep. Let's make this a symbol right here. This is for Anthony the Chemist. He's also a Duffy, a fan that died for us. So, yo, make sure you're calling your, call your uncle as soon as possible and tell him we're on his way to, we're on his, way to his house and if he has uh, burner phones or something that we can use. Okay. Right. I just got to find my phone. I'm going to make sure I'll call him. But let's get out of here. Put some leaves over it and then we'll be good. Alright. Oh, no, no, hey, 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 stay right there. Hey, hey. Name's Calvin McGinley, the seventh. Mmm. That's good for y'all. Please! <laughs>
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yo, oh, wait. I got him. Get the axe. Oh. Let me see. Let me see. How bad? How, how bad is it? I just found it. It's cool. If this is by any chance human meat or something, then it's gonna obviously. Play your camera, play back, please. <laughs> I definitely don't see a body where it happened. I think it is very safe to say this is not deer meat. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. They cut his face off. Dude, they cut his face off. Holy sh! The good thing is no one can track us here. The bad thing is police is constantly. We'll turn the camera off. Catch him asleep. Polly is not here. I just woke up. Sun's just coming up now, and Polly is not here. And he fucking took the bio. Going on? Why is the gun safe open? Because I was in there, you idiot. What the hell are you doing here? Listen, you left us in a really friggin' mess. I didn't do shit. Okay? No, dude, no, 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 I didn't do shit. All right, Jake and his fucked up friends and Tommy, okay, came over here and asked me to help them out, and you were there for when it happened. Yeah, because so, I came to save your ass. So we're back. Well, now I'm in this crap yeah, with you. So let's listen go. to me. Listen. So I got a phone that I put a VPN on. You can use this, whatever, but do not like. Don't use it long term. You're going to have to go get track phones or something. All right. Also, since it's a rainy friggin' day, there's some cash for you. Okay. How That's cash for you it's about 50 grand. I, oh, I Jesus. Have what I have. Shit, Come Come here. Listen to me. Come here. Anyway. Oh, my God. He took out the whole freaking army Dude, thing. He took everything out. No, I got plenty in the car, too. Just here, listen. I'm going to show you. We're going to put it in the bag. All right. Listen. So anyway, so I got you here. You have a 1911. Okay. So you got that, you have, uh, let me see. Okay, so you have also, I got you, I gave you my Desert Eagle, which I'm not gonna need. A Desert Eagle? It's just way too much. All right, also you got your two magazines here. This is for 5.56, that's gonna go in this gun. This is your 300 Blackout, it goes in this gun. Uh, you got your shotgun Jesus shells. Jesus Christ, what are we trying to blow up a damn just house? Listen, to me. listen we don't know what the hell we're up against, all right? Just listen to me. You got some more shotguns here, okay? And then uh, also some ammo. There's ammo and supplies in those for all the guns. I'm going to start loading it up. No, just for going to say, let me leave with your sister. We'll be in touch in a couple days. You just, this is enough for you. I got me. I'll be in touch with you. Okay. All right. So we all can right. take all these? Yes, take it all. all, right. all everything here. Take it. Also, don't use the truck. I disabled it. The truck's done. I bought a new truck. Okay. We'll, so just, where are you going? I'm leaving with her. Well, where? I don't know yet. I'm trying to figure out. I'm going to go stay in a hotel or something. I got enough cash. All right, go. To just, just, go. Go. just go. Just go. Just go. You have my number. Get out of here. My phone's Okay, there. come on. Let's look, start loading this up. Jesus Christ, bro. We don't even have enough baggage to load all this we stuff. Got, we got to make it fucking work real quick. This is good. We got clips here. Blackout round. Here. Put the pistols in. What is it? Jesus, this is the biggest thing I've ever seen in my life. Hold on. Dude, I have no yeah, idea what I'm even looking at right now. Put this in your pocket. The phone. phone. Jesus, bro. Right, We're gonna have to relocate as well. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. We're on the run right now, dude. We have to relocate. We have to leave this house. Uh, my car is out front. I don't know where the hell we're gonna go. I'm gonna need to pull fifty grand. Okay, that's great stuff, but at the same time, we're gonna have to pull out way more money. I have to close my bank account and dip. I don't know what's going on. We got. I'm gonna have to call all my banks and try to get as much money as possible out of the bank before we leave. That 50, should be 50, good, no? No, fifty grand. That sounds like a lot of money, but that ain't buying no house or anywhere to stay. So where are you gonna money. go? I gotta, I gotta buy a whole house. I gotta get, I gotta get. But where all, are you gonna get the money? I had. That's what I'm saying. I have to call, try to call all the banks and try to get all the money out. They're not gonna give it to me up front like that. I gotta set an appointment or something. Like that. I can try. We'll use this phone here. We'll use this phone and try to uh, call the banks. What is this, ammo? It's all ammo. This, this bag and that bag. Two shotguns, three shotguns. What is that? Okay. Is that an AK-47? Yeah. So 
Dude. With the AK? We're literally going to war. An AR-15. I only know that from Call of Duty. Yeah. We're good. Shoddy. Bad 12. Jesus Christ, bro. All right, let's get all the stuff in the car. I'm going to try to make some phone calls, see if I can get money out of the bank. I don't know if they're going to let me do it tonight or if I'm going to wait till tomorrow morning, but we're going to figure it out, all right? Put all the stuff in the car. Go. Last one, the AK. Your favorite. My favorite, bro. All right, kid. I'm, I got to go get changed. I got to get clothes on, and I got to shower. So... You know, just stay in there for like 10 minutes. I'm gonna be right. showing in my car. Dude, you got oh, real quick. five minutes. Please, bro, be quick. Five minutes. All right, I'm making some phone calls, see if I can get money out of the bank. All right, Ashley, it's Jake. It is Jake. I'm calling you off of a phone that, that cannot be traced. It's Jake. Yes, yes. Listen, I need you to listen really careful, okay? I can't explain much over the phone. I can't talk long on the phone because it could get traced, but I got into a lot of really deep stuff. And I need you to meet me in Atlantic City in five hours, okay? I know. I know it's, I know it's Leah. I promise. I love you so much. Please. I, I love you. Just please meet me in Atlantic City in five hours, okay? I'll explain everything there, okay? Please. Okay. Atlantic City, meet at the Golden Nugget. The Golden Nugget, the, the casino, the hotel thing. Yes, please. Okay, I love you. Don't call this phone again, okay? Don't call anybody. Just go straight there. I'll meet you there in five hours. I love you. Okay, bye. Fuck! We gotta go all the way to Atlantic City, AC. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a, uh, it's like a big city in New Jersey. That's the only bank that's even open right now that answered the phone and As it seems anyways, it's the only bank that actually is gonna allow me to take that big sum of money out, out at the same time because You have to make an appointment or something to take out the money from each bank There's like a limit per day, but since it's a big branch I have to travel all the way to AC and uh, That's probably like an hour and a half away two hours away. I don't know and uh I could take out all the money. It's about $200,000. That should be enough. Uh, I'm leaving $0 in the bank. I'm completely closing the account, walking out with cash, and starting a new life on the run. I really hope Ashley supports me on this. I really hope all you guys support me on this, but I'm ready to go to war for this.